In this video, I'll discuss the products of inertia, the inertia tensor, and principal axes. So, um, we'll start with the definition of angular momentum. Um, for a collection of particles, L equals the sum of the position of each particle crossed with the momentum of each particle. We can rearrange that to say that it's equal to the position of each particle crossed with the definition of momentum, which is the mass times the velocity of each particle. Since we're considering rotation, we can furthermore say that that is equal to the definition of rotational velocity, which is the angular velocity crossed with the position again. Pulling out the mass, we have some of the mass times, and here we have position cross angular velocity cross position again. Using the product rule for the cross products of vectors and expressing all vectors in terms of their x, y, and z components, we have. Now, we call the terms that relate the angular momentum in each direction to the angular velocity in each direction, the products of inertia. So this term, which relates the angular momentum in x to the angular velocity in x, we call Ixx. Similarly, this one relates the angular momentum in x to the angular velocity in y, so we call it Ixy, and so on. You'll notice that the product of inertia for the angular momentum and angular velocity in the same direction all has the same form. The product of inertia is just the sum of the masses times the distance to the axis squared. In the case of x, it's y squared plus z squared, which is a familiar result for a point mass about an axis of rotation where i just equals mr squared. A convenient way to express the products of inertia is in matrix form. This matrix is called the inertia tensor. Now, if we express the angular momentum and angular velocity also in matrix form, like so, then in matrix form we have that L equals I omega. Now, let's consider the role of symmetry both reflective and axial in the inertia tensor and the products of inertia. So the first figure that I've drawn is axially symmetrical about the z-axis. We'll consider that in a second. And then the second figure is only reflectively symmetrical about the x axis, just to prove that you can have reflective symmetry without having axial symmetry. So in either case, let's consider the symmetry in x across the origin. So considering any of the off-diagonal elements of the inertia tensor, for example, Ixy, Iyx, whatever, um, intuitively, the values of, for example, Ixy on the left side of the figure will be the negatives of the values on the right half of the figure, and so they should add to zero. Let's test that. If we're integrating across this whole object, we'll have negative m integral negative a to a x, y, dx, and dy. But let's do the interior integral first. So we'll have negative m x squared over 2y, negative a to a, dy, and of course a squared over 2 minus a squared over 2 equals 0. And that'll be true for any of the products of inertia that include x. Now in this case it's reflectively symmetrical in y as well, but we will consider that in a second. So, so far our inertia tensor looks like ixx 0, 0, 0, iyy, iyz, 0, izy, izz. So this is what we'll see with reflective symmetry. We can see that some of the products are zero. Now in this case, it's also symmetrical across y, and it is indeed axially symmetrical 
about z. So let's consider the axial symmetry here. Um, not only will we have zeros for the remaining terms that are off diagonal, but in the case that we are multiplying i by a rotational velocity about the z-axis, where omega equals just omega z, the rotation is just about the z-axis, we will have that L equals ixx, iyy, izz, all zeros. Our angular velocity vector is just 0, 0, omega z. Then our product will only be izz, omega z in the z direction. In other words, if we have axial symmetry about the axis of rotation, then the angular momentum will be parallel to the axis of rotation. We call this a principal axis. Somewhat surprisingly, every inertia tensor has three corresponding principal axes, and in the next video, we'll talk about how to find them.